What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Magic Hat Brewing Company in South Burlington, Vermont, and Rochester, New York. This is Demo Black IPA. Uh, not a whole lot of information on this beer from the brewery. Uh, kind of a fairly generic statement on the, the neck label here. A deliciously dark riff. The ancient ritual of brewing a distinctly rich and flavorful beer is a performance to behold. Our mysterious melange of time-honored ingredients harmonized with chaotic chemistry, humble patience, and blind faith to create this unique beer to share in the rousing company of kindred spirits. So that's kind of more a uh, magic hat thing overall. Uh, a little bit of information on the website, uh, but just calls it a black IPA with a unique combination of floral hop notes and subtle roasted and chocolate malt flavor. Uh, does note that they use uh, pale chocolate, carafa, caramel, and caraviana malts, Apollo and Golding's hops, and English ale yeast. It is 6% ABV, 45 IBU. Let's check it out. Okay, so got a fair finger and a half worth of head, I would say, on it. Uh, just holding up straight, uh, it's fairly dark, uh, maybe a, like a dark ruby red. I can see through it a little bit. Um, not well, I think it's not that it's hazy, it's just that it's dark, so. Um, but I can get a little bit of color, like a very dark, like a dark bronze or copper. Or a very dark ruby red. I'm holding up to the light. Kind of goes into a cola color, frankly. Uh, that dark brownish color of a cola. Maybe just a hair lighter. Um, head's going away somewhat quickly, I would say. We're down to about three quarters of a head. Of a finger of head right now, I would say. So, um, again, as dark as it is, I can't really get any, any indication on uh, carbonation going through the, uh, going up through the glass. So, let's get to tasting. A little bit sweet to start. Um, and kind of a little bit of a, a burnt edge on the finish. Uh, not necessarily too bad, but a little bit of a burnt edge. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of a, getting a little bit of a coffee note in there. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the kind of the darker edges of it, I think are kind of more in the middle to back of the tasting experience so like uh, a little bit of coffee uh roasted malt a little bit of a, a burnt edge to it as i said not it's, it's not a bad burnt edge it's not um off-putting or overly smoky or or charred or anything like that uh just you know just maybe they they took the the, the roasted malts and just roasted them right right to the edge A little bit of a, maybe almost a, a cola note at the start. Again, it is fairly sweet. Yeah, almost a, like a, a watered down cola. Initially, mild sweetness, and then that, that gives way um, really into the coffee as much as anything, uh, followed by the, the roasty and toasty and uh, the burny parts of it. Frankly, not getting a whole lot of the IPA side, getting plenty of the, what I would call the black side, as it's a black IPA. So plenty of the black uh, parts of it, that is the, the kind of the, the dark, the dark beer qualities of it, plenty of that. Again, roast and chocolate and coffee, a little bit of a brownie batter kind of a thing going on. But 
but the uh, the hops are fairly well uh, fairly well hidden to me. Maybe getting a little bit of that floral hop note in the in the first half of the beer, um, along with kind of all the the sweeter notes. Uh, I mean, tasty beer. I'm I'm enjoying it, but it's not quite a uh, again not quite not quite getting the IPA portion of the black IPA. So uh, I think these kind of mixed styles I consider the black IPA mixed style. I think they're hard to really pull off both sides of what you're going through. This is more just a straight up stout or porter to me. Um, than than a black IPA. Maybe getting a little bit of the hoppiness. A little bit of a hot bite rather at the very very end and kind of as, as an aftertaste um but otherwise putting up pleasant like chocolatey you know chocolate style chocolate porter notes um so excuse me uh maybe not quite hitting the mark on the style but not a uh, certainly not not an unenjoyable beer from magic hat brewing so that's it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer you can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out Poorly Reviewed Beer on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and on Tapped. You'll find links and usernames for all of those in the description below. Also, feel free to like this channel and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. The script's right in front of me, and I'll still get it wrong, so don't worry about that. Uh, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.